to um, our channel, Real Truth Talks. <clears throat> and Truth Talks, we inter inter uh, relate. Um, and I just wanted to talk about my wounded warrior um, and some personal stories about things that touched me so much and just kind of spoke to who Mark was. Mark was born a warrior um, that I decided from listening to all his stories and the things he did. Um, he was good at that. He was good at, um, wasn't the best at taking orders. <laughs> um, if he thought they were wrong. And, um, you know, one time there was a, had a mission in Rwanda, and, um, he was in charge of the load. Uh, I have a terrible headache right now, so I can't think of names. Hello, uh, asking us, that's, that's my fault. And, um, anyway... So, you know, they, they did what they had to do. And he said the children and whatnot were coming, running up to the plane, begging, you know, for food or water or whatever. And um, he said they had, they had water and, and whatnot on the, on the plane. And um, even though he was in charge of the the load, I, load master, I think is what he was on this, and the commanding officer, whoever else was on there, I don't, I don't, I can't get the full story straight right now, but anyway, something about, he told them to unload the water and, and whatnot for the refugees, for the, especially the kids, kids always touched him, and, um, Uh, lieutenant, whoever it was, whatever, over him, um, said no, don't. And they proceeded to have an argument, and then my um, hot-headed husband proceeded to break his nose, knock him out, and they said unload the plane, and take him back in, and they're like, yo. Um, and yes, he did get into trouble. He did some time. Um, but one of the cool things about it is there's always something about Mark. And um, there were a few generals that took a liking to him and whatnot, um, which is why he didn't get kicked out or whatever for that because... Um, anyway, so that was one of the things that had to do with children that really touched me. Another one was um, during Desert Shield. And um, they were doing stuff somewhere. And um, of course they weren't supposed to, they were supposed to apprehend their people, their men, or, and you know, that was it, not interfere with the locals and whatnot. But apparently um, there was a revenge fire retribution it was a friendly village. Uh, they had been kind to and helped them. And anyway, so there was a fire, and when they came up on it, of course, you know, they were told not to get involved. But Mark heard crying and screaming children, and so he did his hothead, impulsive, I'm going to save the kids thing. Um, some he did and some he didn't. Um, he has very fine scars across his chest. Um, an upper part of his stomach from, from some burns and whatnot. Um, and then when he met me, Nemo was just three just turning four, I think, or maybe he was to just turn four, I don't know. But um, one night I, I picked Nemo up and was taking him to his bed, and 
they're dark, um, you know, cinnamon colored kids. And um, Mark lost it. Uh, he had a PTSD flashback and whatnot. That's kind of how I found out about the kids, the burning things, because it just reminded um, uh, Mark of, of that incident. So, um, I, I just think that's great. Um, I loved that about Mark. He, he didn't want to get out, but at the time he wanted to get out of the military. Um, a lot of, I don't know, it was, that was just before me. A lot of, um, things went into play on that, but, um, you know, when he le when he got out of active duty, he worked for the DOD, then the DOJ, so he was still in, um, in 2013 is when um, he had to get out of working for the government, and um, then, you know, a little over a year later, he's diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, um, and Mark did not assimilate into civilian life. He hated it. Hated it. Um, and then according to the doctors and whatnot, once they found out, you know, Gulf Storm, um, Gulf War illness, and the stuff he'd been exposed to, we all knew that although there might be a family um, proclivity to prostate cancer, at 52, when they found his it was already metastatic. It was in his spine, um, in, in, the, in the lymph nodes, um, and they had some tumors, you know, in, in the lymph nodes, which they couldn't, couldn't remove because one had, um, fused to an artery. <sighs> so, uh, but, but just recently, you know, with the PACT Act, um, which you can apply for January 1st through August, I think it's August 1st of 2023, um, the military is now taking responsibility for Vietnam, um, Gulf War, uh, stuff, um, all reproductive cancers, heart problems, and and whatnot. Um, he'd already been rated 100% um, for, for much various different things uh, that had happened to him and that through um, through the government, right? So it's it wouldn't have netted him more any more money or anything like that. It's just um, I wanted that for him to just make him feel better um, and there were a lot of Mark had some upsetness about the things he'd done and once he found out that these were not um, honorably motivated mis uh, wars um, he felt used he felt angry but um, and then through some people that we listened to he just before he died you know they were talking about well you may ha have been working for bad people for them but your heart was right you you were fighting for the Constitution and the people of the United States what you thought to protect them so yeah and this is all coming up on Memorial Day and gone but not forgotten and Mark's death was directly related to uh, his, his service uh, conditions he'd gotten there um, and yes he would have done it again um, if he had to do if he were here and, and you were to ask him would you do it again and he would say yes um, maybe just some things differently, you know, but he loved the Constitution, and he loved the flag, 
what what it stood for. Um, I love the idea of our country and to protect her. Um, so anyway, I just those are a couple things that I just thought the world should know. Um, so we'll talk later.